Yo, what's good? It's Reputate, and today I'm going to show you the best and most effective ways to improve your shotgun aim in Fortnite. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if this video helps, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. First things first, before you start getting down the muscle memory of aiming in the next few steps, you're going to want to make sure your sensitivity is not too high or too low. This video is also for controller too, however I'm a mouse player so I'm mostly going to be over here. The first thing for mouse players is your mouse weight. This is going to greatly affect your sensitivity. You typically, the lighter the mouse, the lower the sense, and the heavier the mouse, the higher the sense. This is because a lighter mouse is going to be much easier to move, as where a heavy mouse is not. Now, for an example, I use the Logitech G Pro Wireless. It's 80 grams, it's somewhat on the lighter side, and because of that, my sense is pretty low. This is not the only reason why I play low sense, this is just part of it. However, most pros these days tend to use lighter mice such as the Final Mouse and the Logitech G Pro Wireless resulting in lower senses. And with that being said, go on a website like ProSettings.com and find pros who use a mouse that has a similar weight to yours and see what senses they use. This could be a great starting to point to finding your best sensitivity or something close to it. Seriously though, try them all. Try all kinds of sensitivity. See what's best for you. A lot of this is personal preference. And now that you know how to find that good sensitivity, let's move on to step two. Creative maps meant for improving aim is probably one of the best ways to make your aim better in Fortnite. For an example, this first map is amazing. It puts you and your opponent in a box in a realistic situation, and you just keep getting down the muscle memory for aiming up close in these situations. And as you can see on screen, there's a ton of different variations with the boxes. You just pick the one you want. There's so many to choose from. And this next map right here, again, both the map codes were on screen. It's a 7-in-1 edit course, but the 7th one is an aim and edit course, as you can see on screen with the little robots right there. And this is great for syncing up your edits and aiming at the same time. And these are not the only two maps. These are just two examples. There's plenty of other maps you can look up on YouTube that are also great for improving your aim. You can also use third-party programs such as Aim Labs and Kovax, both downloaded from Steam, to help improve your aim. Not only will these programs help improve your aim, but they will also point out to you weaknesses, strengths, and things to build upon. If you don't know how to set up stretch resolution, I'm going to link a video in the description on how to do it. It's really not that hard. The video I linked is the method that pretty much everyone uses. It's the most popular video. And the stretch resolution I recommend is 1750 by 1080 p However, there are different people who prefer different ones. The reason why this is going to help you is because it'll make the characters appear wider, it'll even make your crosshair appear wider, so in turn it'll look as if your targets are easier to hit, and you will notice a difference. It may take a little bit to get used to, but once you get used to it, I can almost promise your aim will be better. Almost all the pros use some form of stretch res. It really does help, and if for some reason you use it for a few days and really don't like it, you can go right back to your old res, like not. 1920 by 1080p or whatever you are on. This may be a no-brainer, but playing creative matchmaking modes like realistic solos or box fights with your friends is great for improving aim. Obviously the reason why is because you're constantly simulating fighting one-on-one -on -one fights, third-party fights, you're constantly fighting which means you're aiming a lot. You're up close a lot, especially in box fights and even these realistic 1v1s. So it's great for getting consistent aim, and if you play these a lot, and if you play them consistently, you should see your aim improve a lot. As you may already know, higher FPS will make your game look much smoother and cleaner, and reducing input delay as much as possible will make your game feel more responsive. I actually have a video I made which I'm going to link in the description on how to boost FPS and reduce input delay. If you reduce input delay, it'll make your game feel more responsive, meaning the micro movements of aiming will be more crisp and clean, and along with higher frame rate, it'll make everything look smoother.
If you have any questions about anything mentioned in this video, please feel free to drop a comment. I'll try my best to answer all comments as quick as I can. And that is it for the video today. Don't forget to drop a like if this video helped you and subscribe for more videos like this. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.